Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Voyager Class Beast Wars Universe Silver Bolt from the Transformers Legacy United line from Hasbro. I'm really excited for this release. Uh, Silver Bolt has always been a favorite character of mine from Beast Wars and the original toy was perfectly fine but I never really liked how you couldn't like bend his wings down like he could on the show. He could kind of have them folded on his back and it looks like this one is going to be able to do that so Long time coming, definitely in need of an update, so really excited for that. Some really cool artwork of his Fusor form here on the front, and some nice artwork of his robot mode over here on this side. Over here we have half of the Legacy United mural, like we always do. Not too much going on in the bottom, just have that Legacy United logo there on the top. And spinning around to the back, we have some product shots here of the... Uh, animal mode i guess we'll say beast mode <laughs> he is a fusion of an eagle and a wolf which is really cool and then we have the robot mode over here so really excited for this one gonna go ahead get him out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look so here is silver bolt out of the packaging i think the robot mode looks pretty good he does feel a little wide up top i don't know if i just need to get used to that or what but i do feel like the torso area is a little wide a uh, head sculpt i think is pretty fantastic honestly those yellow eyes really pop. The black for the mask, I think, is painted really nicely. Part of me kind of wishes that the mouth could open. I don't know why. I just feel like of all the characters, like, because he has kind of a snout, it would be cool if his mouth could open. Um, really nice paint and detailing here. You have the nice red here in the center, some gold here. Uh, all of this painting down here on the shins and the thighs. Uh, I'm sorry, the calves looks pretty good down here in the toes. You have some nice uh, kind of gradient painting here on the wings, I think is really nice. And you can probably tell I've already connected his weapons. So he has those two kind of missiles that they just can peg really nicely onto the wings and fit very seamlessly in there. And the nice thing is you can see that the connections on the wings are different. So you can't actually peg them in incorrectly, which I thought was kind of cool. You can see the connections down here as well. So they put that bar there so you can't connect them to the wrong wings, which I thought was kind of a neat little idea there uh, he can hold these as melee weapons part of me kind of wishes that this could flip up and he could kind of you know point them as missiles because he used to do that in the show and you can kind of extend this up a little bit it doesn't really want to go you can kind of see that like there's a, a spot where it stops but if you kind of wiggle it past it'll start to pop out um not really supposed to but it would have been neat if you could put them up and then kind of lift this panel up but you can't really do that. But I do appreciate that you can fold the wings down because he definitely walked around like that in the show most of the time. If you want him to fly, you can flip them out to the side. Let me zoom out a bit here. So I like that aspect of it. That is something that the original toy always had the wings straight out like that because it was just the way that it transformed. So yeah, overall, like I said, I think the robot mode is pretty good. You have the kind of tail feathers here. You can angle these back a little bit if you want. They don't really get in the way of articulation all that much, I have to be honest. But if you want to kind of angle them back a little bit just so it doesn't look so kibbletastic on the back there. But yeah, overall, I think he's good. I still think it's a little wide up here, but I do like the robot mode for the most part. Head is on kind of a ball joint. You can spin side to side, although mine's kind of tough. It doesn't really like to move around all that much. You can go front to back the tiniest little bit. Can't really tilt side to side all that much. You have a swivel here in the shoulder as well as a hinge out to the side. Nice range of motion there. You have a bicep swivel and I think it's kind of cool that they have the like cutout on that piece so that it can still kind of swivel around that piece and not have any problems there. You do have a double jointed elbow but it's really more for the transformation because you have this piece of the dog foot transforms honestly very similarly to how the original toy did where this one's going to hide up here to bring this one down so it is kind of a double jointed elbow but you can't really utilize it all that much in the robot mode unless you want the dog leg to be kind of hanging down so really you just have the one elbow but you have a wrist swivel as well you do have a waist swivel you might want to kind of move this back just a little bit to get at it but you have a waist swivel there as well nice range of motion in the hips i mean you can kick crazy forward uh, if you move the wings out of the way, you can kick pretty far back as well. Really far out to the side, so that's nice. Thigh swivel there. The knees are a little weird, though, because they kind of click. So when you unclick it, you kind of have to go, and then, it, and then you have the range of motion there to 90 degrees. But then you kind of come down 
and it like clicks stiff. And it just makes it a little weird for him to like kind of pose in a natural stance because you have to like unclick this and then it's already kind of at like a weird angle. So to get him to pose, you can do it still. But I almost feel like he naturally wants to fall backwards because they're like unclicked and they're almost kind of loose. Like once they're unclicked, they're a little loose. And so it's just a little weird. I guess you'd have to have him kind of squat something like this. I also feel like the wings on mine are a little loose. You can kind of see, like they're not, they have kind of clicks. They're, they're very much like the knees. They have clicks in places where they're very solid. That's not moving around a lot, but you can see how the other one's kind of moving around a lot. So you're supposed to click these back and then click this for the robot mode, kind of similar to how Air Razor's ring, wings were. But then when they're in this mode, they're kind of floppy. So when I click it out and then click this like this, now it's pretty solid. It's not going to go anywhere. But then like you have, once you unclick it, it's kind of a mess. And that's a shame. And I feel like the knees are kind of weird. So like I just wanted to be in kind of a crouched position. But like he naturally kind of wants to fall backwards because the knees are kind of loose when they're not clicked. And then you can kind of, you know, go the opposite direction as well. So, you know, if you if you leave them clicked and you just have them stand something like this, you'll have no trouble because when they are clicked, they are solid. No problems there. But if you wanted to kind of put them in like a crouching position, you might lose some balance there. Uh, as for the ankles, nice. You can kind of hear the ratchet and then go back and forth on both sides. And you can also kind of get some forward and back because of how those kind of lock in as well. Those are pretty, pretty tight though, even when they're not locked in. So that's good. And the ankle tilt works well. It's just weird how you kind of, you kind of have to keep those knees locked in or he gets a little sloppy. But overall, I do think he looks pretty good. I'm not great at posing figures, I'll admit that. Um, but he looks good. Overall, I would say the paint applications are nice. Articulation, for the most part, is pretty good. Few joints feel a little loose, but I think it's just the way that they kind of... They have them, like, click into place, and when they're not clicked, they're a little loose. But when they're clicked, they're solid. So, a little weird there. But overall, I think he looks pretty good. Transformation is fairly simplistic, and it actually does kind of borrow some aspects of the original Transformation from the 90s toy, which is kind of neat, but also kind of weird that they, you know, just kind of went with the same thing. But you'll see what I mean. So we're going to start with the arms. You're going to kind of pop this leg down, so that will kind of swivel this up. And then pop the arm in here. Again, this part is almost borrowed exactly from the original toy. This is pretty much how it transformed back then. You're going to come around to the head and just lift this section up. Like so. Then you're going to flip out this back section. And kind of fold out the dog head. And you can kind of lift this up as well. You're going to take the arms. And they will flip up like this. Kind of at the shoulder section. You can take the robot head now that the dog head is out of there and rotate that down and inside. You're going to fold this out once again. So this is going to pop out here like this. And I think it's kind of funny. This hinge is from the original toy. It does not actually serve a purpose here. They just molded that in because it was part of his design, I think, for both the show and the toy. Because that was how you transformed it back in the day but this is just a molded in hinge it's not a real hinge which i thought was kind of funny i kind of like that uh popping this down then you're going to fold these all the way up bring these down like this and you can see that these two will peg into each other so bring this in bring this in and that will snap together like so then you're going to take your legs here and you can see that there is a little tab slot right there and that is going to tab onto this little tab right here. So assuming I did this correctly, I'm going to have to spin this. There we go. And then we can bring that in and that will secure in right there. Do the same thing on that side. And then you're going to kind of just bring the dog legs back to about there. You're going to take this section, making sure everything is out of the way, make sure the wings are out of the way, make sure the tail section is out of the way, make sure the head is up, and this whole section is just going to rotate 180 degrees. 
This will allow you to bring this back. You can see that this little spot here is going to fill that in. And there are two tabs under here, right there and there, which are going to tab in right there and there. So this will come down and kind of shore that up. Then you can bring this section down. There is a tab or a tiny peg right there, which will peg in right here. So this will come down and peg in. We can take this part. This will actually just fold around. And then there is a tab right there, which I believe tabs in here. This just comes up and just hides that. You can see that there's kind of two little tabs there that will fit in those little spots there. So this just kind of comes down and clicks into place. We're pretty much done at this point. We're going to just straighten out the wings, make sure that they're clicked down. You can fold them all the way out. For the legs, you're going to bring these to about here, spin them 180 at the thigh. Then you're going to bring these in, and you can see that there are these little tabs right here and right there. And they are going to tab in right there. So this just comes in, clicks into place, and then you just bring this all the way up. So bring this in, tab that in, fold this all the way up. And then you're going to kind of straighten out the leg and use that joint I showed earlier to just kind of push this down. And then you want to unclick those so that they fold all the way. And then there you go. That is Silverbolt in beast mode. I have to kind of admit, I'm a little underwhelmed by the beast mode. First of all, the tail feathers stop way too short. They should be back here covering this giant mass of gray plastic. These should definitely be about like two inches further back and, and, and hide out here over the legs. They definitely stop way too short. Um, I'm fine with the legs. There's absolutely no articulation back here. Now, if you really wanted to, you could unpeg these and then kind of move them around however you want. But there's not really a reason to because these don't do anything. So you might as well just kind of leave this snapped in. Um, but where I'm really missing the articulation is the front legs. Because he used to have the talons and they could close, you know, as he was like flying towards someone. Now again, if you want, you can unpeg these and kind of move these around, you know, to get the full range of articulation. But I'm really missing the closing talons. I'm really bummed about that. This is just one solid piece. This does not move around. These do not close. I guess they thought it was a stability issue for the robot mode, but I mean, the original toy didn't really have an issue with it. And, you know, it was maybe slightly less tall, because if you think about the fact that Voyagers today are probably just only marginally taller than Deluxes back in the day. Uh, back in the 90s, you know, original Silverbolt was probably almost as tall as this guy is in robot mode. So, I don't know. It's definitely weird, maybe giving the ankle tilt they thought it would be an issue, but... I'm really missing the talons being able to close. That's definitely a bummer for me. Uh, and the fact that they want you to kind of peg these in, I think they want you to peg them in so you don't realize that it's so much just the robot legs hanging down because they really didn't move them or manipulate them at all. Now, I mean, it was very similar. If I remember correctly, the way the original one transformed, the head folded down, The this piece was actually up here, and that kind of folded, like, I think the legs came down and clicked into place. Or maybe the head came down first, then the legs closed around the head. Uh, this piece was up here, so that then hung down and you could manipulate the legs. Again, this part was stuck staying up here. And then you just brought these sections forward and they clipped in here. And then you had your arms. So while I do appreciate that this section is now on the back, and that way you can kind of fold the, the feathers up and... and that's a little bit more natural in robot mode. I'm definitely missing the articulation of the legs. Because if these are snapped in, you have really no articulation in any of the legs in this mode. Which is kind of a bummer. I mean, technically, I guess you could move these, but it's not really getting you anywhere. Especially when these don't close up. And uh, I really... This needs to be extended further back. This looks kind of weird as shortened up as it is. And I feel like they could have just made this piece longer because there's really no reason not to. I mean, you could have had this. This could still peg in there, have this extend further out, and then you could have like another thing sit into these two spots. You have the spots right here. I'm totally fine with that all connecting like that. I think that's great. You could have just made this piece of plastic longer so it just hung back a little bit further. It might be longer in the robot mode, but because you can angle it up, you could have just angled it out and it wouldn't have gotten in the way. 
So I really don't know what that's about. I feel like there was no reason they couldn't have just made this piece longer to just fit back here a little better. Because this, look, it's not the end of the world. I'm not saying it makes me hate the toy. It doesn't. But it does look weird. Like the tail starts, stops up here and then he's got this whole butt. I don't know. That's weird to me. And I mean, yes, the fists are exposed. It was like that with the original toy. They could have come up with something, you know, maybe had these rotate a little bit further in, something like that. I don't need it to, but, it, you know, that would have been nice. I don't know. This just kind of feels phoned in a little bit, and I'm kind of bummed about it. I guess I should point out that the wolf head, the mouth can open. I like the wolf head. Honestly, I do. I think, again, those yellow eyes really pop. You have the nice little bit of black paint, and even back here as well, where it kind of gradiates into the gray. I think that looks good. You know, it would have been nice if they painted the inside of the mouth. Again, not a deal breaker by any means. I do appreciate that that can open and close. I think the sculpt on the head for the wolf looks good. All the sculpts look good. I mean, they have the kind of tufted fur here. You know, I think the, the legs here look good. I should probably zoom out a little bit. But yeah, honestly, what we have, like... There are things about this that I definitely like. And the robot mode, I think, is pretty solid. But, I don't know, he just makes him look so fat back here by having this stop so short. That just looks so awkward to me. That should just be longer. Honestly, another inch to an inch and a half just extend this piece out to here. And I think that would have made all the difference. I really do. And then you have all of the legs clip into place. So there's absolutely no articulation whatsoever. I mean, literally, you can flap the wings... You know, which is nice. And the dog mouth opens and closes, and that's it. I'm really missing the talons opening and closing. I'm really missing that. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm a little disappointed, I gotta be honest. I don't hate it. I definitely don't hate it. But I am a little disappointed in, in the beast mode, I gotta be honest. So, yeah, I gotta be honest. I'm a little disappointed with this guy. He was always a favorite character of mine. I always loved the design. And I really loved the original toy as a kid. And I've been kind of waiting 25 years for him to get a redo... And I gotta be honest, this isn't much of a redo. I mean, it really feels similar to the original toy, with just a little bit more articulation. Like I said, I feel like the arms are almost exactly the same. I mean, I guess he didn't have bicep swivels back in the day, but they transform almost exactly the same. Uh, you know, the legs, like I mentioned, the knees, when they're not locked in place, are a little wonky. Same thing with the wings. Like, they're not terrible, and it's not a deal breaker, but they are just a little floppy, which is kind of a bummer. Um... The beast mode is definitely the weakest part for me, though, which is kind of a shame because I always really liked this guy's beast mode. I thought it was so cool. And the tail definitely is too short in the beast mode. The talons not being able to open and close is definitely a bummer. But I will say I think the robot mode looks good. It is a little wide in the torso area, but I do like that they kept this like fake hinge molded in just for aesthetic sake. I think that's kind of neat. Head sculpt looks great. Those yellow eyes really pop with the black and the gray. I think that looks so sharp. All the paint applications, I think, are pretty good. You know, I like the gradient effect on the wings. I like that the melee weapons can, like, peg seamlessly into the wings and integrate very well. I like how they did kind of a different uh, attachment pattern here so you can't attach them to the wrong wing. I think that's really cool. And I love that the wings can kind of fold back on the back like they do in the show because that was something the original toy could not do so i really love that so there's still a lot to like here don't get me wrong i'm not trying to say this is a terrible toy i guess i just 25 years of toy technology and it, it just kind of feels a little phoned in honestly it doesn't feel like they did as much as they could have i don't know maybe i'm asking for too much i don't know i mean the only thing, I mean, honestly, the only thing that I would ask is to make this just like inch and a half longer. And it really feels like there's no reason they couldn't have because it just hangs here. And I don't really care if it hangs down a little bit lower. It doesn't really bother me all that much. And I would love the talons to be able to close in the beast mode. If they did those two things, I think my, my expectation level would be met. You know, I don't mind that the arms transform the same kind of way and, and so do the legs. That kind of stuff doesn't bother me that much. I mean, they could have gotten a little bit more inventive with it, but I, that's not a deal breaker by any means. I mean, let's put it this way. Nothing on here is a deal breaker. It's still a fun toy. He still looks fantastic in robot mode, but it just, I'm a little disappointed, especially with the beast mode. That felt kind of, I mean, maybe it was kind of like a, 
we don't want this to be too long and so they had like a compromise and met in the middle but i honestly think i wouldn't mind this hanging down or maybe they could have put a hinge here and just had it kind of fold up top of here or something like that i don't know i don't know exactly what the answer is i honestly i think i would live with this just being an inch and a half longer between the legs down here if it looked better in the beast mode i think i personally would be okay with that maybe a lot of people wouldn't maybe they started out that way and they didn't like it i don't know i'm not privy to the whole process obviously but and the talons i don't know if that's a stability thing in robot mode or what but i i feel like they could have done it i feel like we've had other toys do similar things and that i i really don't understand why those don't close and that's kind of a bummer for me but yeah i mean like i said is it still a fun toy yes does he look great in robot mode? Yes. It's just, I guess it's not the update I, I made up in my head from the original toy. It feels very much like the original toy, just with a little bit of a glow up, and that's kind of it. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm being too hard on it. I don't know. I'm kind of talking myself in and out of it as I go. Uh, I, if you're just going to put him on a shelf, I think the robot mode looks great. You'll have no issue. Put him on a shelf. He looks solid really you know no problems there if you're you know buying this for the beast mode i think you'll probably be let down a little bit just my opinion please let me know what you guys think in the comments below am i being too difficult am i being too hard on this you know do you think it's perfectly good am i crazy i'd love to hear your opinions do you agree with me um definitely let me know in the comments below please like share and subscribe hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks so much for watching